Hey guys, thank you for checking in and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial and hope you guys are gonna love this one too. If it's your first time then please do subscribe and on top of that if you want to support me and if you want to support my channel, please do buy this t-shirt. Holiday season is coming and this might be a good gift to your friends and family. So with that note, let's open the tutorial. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's drag and drop this image over here. Let's drag this one over here too. And let's do some arrangement. Let's bring this layer to on the bottom. Let's make it a little bigger. For that press Ctrl T or you can go to edit, transform and I'll just make it something like this size. Alright and let's make it a little bigger, Ctrl T. maybe. It's something like this size all right again control T let's put it a little bit maybe somewhere maybe somewhere over here all right let's double click this to convert into a layer and create a new layer Let's fill this new layer with some dark color, maybe something like this. Alt backspace and let's bring it all the way to the bottom. Let's hide this layer for now. And let's make a group Control G. Let's rename and make it as image or something like this. So select this layer, go to select, go to color rings and from here I'll just go for highlights or maybe I'll just go for skin tones let's do a minor adjustment maybe maybe somewhere over here click OK and go to select go to inverse and then let's create a layer max so this is what we got now let's make a copy of this group so Control J to make a copy right click let's merge this group and go to filter go to filter gallery and from here let's go for cutout think like this looks good to me so select OK let's create a new layer and then from brass let's choose okay let's choose this brass and from here I'll just go for this yellow maybe just let's rotate the brass maybe something like this Change the color, maybe something like this. Let's change the color. Um, I'm just painting it, so this hard edge. So select on the layer max and let's click on this one. All right, now let's make a new layer again go to brush let's change the color maybe let's change the brush too so maybe yeah maybe i'll just go for this one
from here let's go for powder brush all right let's make a new layer let's change the color to maybe something like white and let's make one more layer and let's change the color to maybe something like this yellow maybe one more layer let's make this maybe one more layer just to add some color variation so I'm just changing the colors so make a new layer again just make add some color and from here let's change the brush to let's rotate it maybe yeah something like this make a new layer Change it to, to linear burn and let's make it a little smaller. Go to new layer, let's make it a little smaller and let's change the color. Again, go to color burn. Go for darker. Alright, now let's turn on the visibility for this layer. Create a layer max. Let's fill with black color. And let's change it to white and let's start painting some text and let's do some rotation let's all right now let's make it a little bigger all right now let's do one more thing let's create another layer change the brush to maybe white and let's add some detail over here let's create one more layer Let's create another layer and again let's keep on adding some details so let's change the color to maybe like this yellow Alright now let's do some touch up so for that I'll just go to brush again and I'll just go for general brush maybe the hard brush and let's make it really small and let's create a new layer and let's add some details with some let's change the color to black and let's add some details
now let's do some final color touch up so alt shift Control and E let's merge everything go to filter go to camera raw filter and from here let's increase exposure a little bit decrease the highlights increase the side of, maybe decrease the side or something like this increase the clarity increase the texture because I just want to pop up that texture increase the vibrance maybe something like this Increase the noise reduction, color noise, increase the sharpening and let's click OK. Now let's do a final color touch up. From here go to color lookup and from here click on load and I'm using this mudlot. Select and click on load. So if this intensity is too high let's decrease a little bit and if create a new layer go to press and I'll just go for a general press and let's add some other details overlay and let's decrease the opacity maybe something like this So alright, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video.